Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Monarch. To get this gun, you will have to play on Mayhem 6 or higher. So if you're trying to farm this on Mayhem 1 through 5, this gun will not drop. Like I said, make sure you're playing on Mayhem 6 or higher. Anyways, the enemy you want to farm for this is Killable. And Killable can be found over Electric City on Promethea. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to Promethea and go to Electric City. And you're going to head all the way to the end of the map, right over here. And we're going to be taking on Killable today. Now, if you have not been to Electric City or fought Killable, what you need to do is do a side mission from Moxie called Kill Killable, and you can find her in Sanctuary. Once you do that, you can fight this boss. All right, so we have a save station right here, so that when we save quit, we're going to spawn right there. And it's going to make it a really short walk to the boss. So let's go ahead and jump down and take him on. There's the kill, so hopefully we get a first run. Nope, we didn't get it, so I will keep farming. Okay, quite a few legendaries. Hey, there it is. This one took 18 runs, but we did get it. Anyways, we have ourselves the Monarch. Damage, pretty good. Now, this gun can be times 4 and times 8. For the times 4 one, it will consume 1 ammo per shot. For the times 8 one, it will consume 2 ammo per shot. Anyways, accuracy okay. Handling, average. Reload time, fair. Fire rate, really fast and mag size 44. For the red text, it says, the deadly sting of the monarch, bonus weapon fire rate, weapon accuracy, melee damage, and 1.5 times weapon zoom. Also, this gun drops in all the elements, including, yeah, the non-elemental form. All right, so the gun looks pretty good. It's your typical Vladoff AR look with a blade on it, and it does use the Layuta skin texture. With the gun being called the monarch, it has a pretty royal look to it. Yeah, I like it. So what better character to play on the Moe's with a bullet storm build? Uh, so anyways, what does the gun do? When you shoot it, it's going to shoot four shots and it fires extremely fast. Also, the bipod mode will double the gun's damage, but at the cost of your movement speed. So yeah, you can see here we're running around and in bipod mode, we cannot move very fast. And we can't run and we can't jump. I know what you're thinking. How is this different from the Dictator? Really, the only difference is the spread and the damage they do. Comparing the damages, the Monarch wins by a mile. So basically, the Monarch is a better Dictator. Alright, so we're playing on Mayhem 10, and here's my modifiers. Uh, here's the gun I have on my Moe's right here. And yeah, let's go ahead and push forward. And I'm gonna say now, this gun is really good. As you can see, it's a bullet barrage. Like, we're literally burning through shield, fire on shield, which is not usually good. Uh, but this gun can do it. Now, you're not gonna be running very fast in bipod mode, but that's gonna give you the most damage. So because you're not gonna be running around, make sure you have a means of healing. Since you're moving slow, enemies are going to land almost every bullet on you. Now, if you really want to move around, you can use it in non-bipod mode, but just know you're not getting that double damage bonus. Now, it's not the most accurate weapon, as you can see here, and in bipod mode, it's still pretty inaccurate, so you do want to use this at close range. So one way I like to use the gun is take it out of bipod mode, run at the enemy, and when you get in front of them, put it in bipod. So you can see for these guys, it makes pretty easy work. Um, let's go ahead and take on a boss. Normally, we always fight Grave Ward, and I wanted to find a different flesh enemy because we do have a fire one. So let's go ahead and take on Troy. So we'll try to go for the crits. And you can see here it's doing serious work if you can aim. And that is the first cycle. Awesome. If you could stay still for just a second, man, I'd appreciate it. Oh my goodness, he spams so much. He is dead, I think. Wait, did we break him? Uh, apparently we broke Troy. Up oh, there he goes. That was weird. I'm not sure what really caused that, but whatever, let's go with it. Anyways, final thoughts on the Monarch. This gun is really good. The damage it puts out is good, and because of that fire rate, it really adds up. Now, I will say it doesn't feel much different from the Dictator, so if you have tried that gun, you're going to be familiar with this. Overall, it's a very strong weapon, and it works really well for Mayhem 10. And yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.